What does a soccer ball and carbon have in common? In 1985, through the laser vaporization of graphite, scientists found an entire new form of pure carbon. Eureka! Clusters of 60 carbon atoms were arranged in a very specific pattern of 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons in a truncated icosahedron. Giving the shape of a soccer ball, this molecule was named Buckminster Fullerene, or Buckyball for short, after American architect R. Buckminster Fuller, who designed and popularized geodesic domes. With the formula C60, buckyballs are very stable and durable. They are the largest, roundest, most magical molecule known, and are capable of surviving extreme temperatures. Through the Spitz Space Telescope, Buckyballs were even detected in deep space, vibrating like jelly in different ways, emitting and absorbing infrared lights. With their hollow cages, buckyballs are the ultimate building playground, reacting with elements from across the periodic table. These perfectly symmetrical carbon soccer balls are seen as the answer to the new energy efficient industrial revolution with possible applications in transport, medical, and electrochemical fields. In 1996, Sir Harold Croteau, Richard Smalley, and Robert Curl received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for the discovery of buckyballs and their 